All right, I'd like to start off by saying Barakat the Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Welcome to another live lesson. The name of this this one is. Uh, this is why it's important too. That 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 you know, like in poetry, inside joke. But pretty much, this is why it's important to listen to the spirit, follow the spirit. Because when you don't follow the spirit, problems and situations happen that don't need to be. Don't need to happen. I'm joined here by the elder to my spot. Just going for a little walk. I was supposed to take my truck in to get the uh, catalytic converter taken care of. And uh, we took it in, but the guy said they don't have time today. They closed at 12, so we told them to bring it in Monday. But anyways, be it as it may, uh, we're speaking about uh, the whole situation that's going on right now. Today being Saturday, I think it's today the 3rd, and uh, uh, November 3rd, 2023, the whole for you that all the prophecies of Yahweh by Shabbat Shabbat is fulfilled, and today is the, the, the great day where Jesus was supposed to be bringing out the troops, you know, yeah. the troops, yeah, <laughs> gathering them in Shirat. And he says Shabbat Shalom, which today is not the Sabbath. Nobody says Shabbat Shalom to the mighty 12 and to the weak 12. You know, throwing, pretty much throwing shots at us. But that's okay. You know, we're going to keep teaching anyway. But uh, pretty much, um, Elder Pastor did a lesson. And in that lesson that he did, he mentioned, you know, um, uh, Josiah, right? And I pretty much had a, had an idea where he was going to go with that point. And uh, the spirit was on me to do a lesson, but you know, it wasn't fully there, but I was thinking about doing a lesson on it, you know, based off of that. And lo and behold, the spirit jumped on Elder Apostle Bar, and he pretty much did the lesson. So I thought that was kind of heavy. And pretty much the bottom line is, you know, Josiah, King Josiah was given instructions, you know, by the Lord not to intermeddle or interfere with that situation, with that war between the king of Egypt and the king of Assyria. But he didn't listen and it cost him his life. You know, and as I was meditating on that, uh, I thought about the uh, the uh, story of the prophet that was told to go. I didn't I didn't remember all the specifics. So I had to go back and read through some of it. But there was a prophet that was told to go to Bethel and pretty much to curse Jeroboam out because Jeroboam was being very naughty. And uh, pretty much when he went there, he told the king not to do so and so and such and such. And uh, the king went to reach out for him and his arm withered, the king's arm withered. And everything that the prophet told Jeroboam actually happened to him, you know? And then he, Jeroboam, you know, he you know, told him, look, can you please entreat the Lord to restore my arm as it was before? And the prophet did, and the, and the arm of Jeroboam was restored as, as the other one. Right? So everything the prophet did worked. Everything the prophet told him was going to happen, happened. He entreated the Lord for Jeroboam. The, the Lord heard the prophet and everything was going fine. Now, the instructions to the prophet was, you know, when you come into this city, don't eat nothing, don't drink nothing there, and don't leave to go back home the same way you came. Right? So the prophet, you know, was following the instructions of the Lord and uh, pretty much when he restored King Jeroboam's arm back, King Jeroboam said, look, come home with me and refresh yourself, you know, I'm going to you know, hook you up, give you some food, give you some something to drink, and send you on your way. And the prophet told him, no, I can't do that. The Lord instructed me not to do that. And he left and he went back home a way, a different way than how he got there. Right, so so far he's following the instructions. Then there was an old prophet that lived in those in that area, and pretty much it was told the old prophet everything that this particular prophet did, and how he, you know, they they gave him the rundown, 
on what he, you know, what he told Jeroboam and how he prophesied to Jeroboam and how this was going to happen and the altar was going to happen and, you know, his arm was going to wither and so on and so forth. And he restored Jeroboam's arm like the other one, boom, 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 right? And uh, he, he told his son to saddle up to ask for him. And he went and found the man of the Lord, right, with the, the prophet. And he told him, look, you know, come home with me. Come and eat with me and he told him the same thing no i can't eat i can't drink and i can't go back home the same way that i left i mean that i came and he convinced him because he told him, look i'm also a prophet too you know so you got to come home with me so we can sit down and talk about this thing and eat and drink so the prophet even though he was instructed to do a, a certain mission he went back with the old prophet and they ate and drank and after they ate and drank, you know, the old prophet the spirit jumped on him and cursed him out and told him that he was going to die because he didn't, you know, follow the instructions of the Lord, right? In so many, in so many words. And I remember years ago, you know, reading that scripture and being mad. Like, why did this, why did he lie to him? Why did he lie to him? And I just couldn't for the life of me figure out why this old prophet would lie to this man and get him killed, right? But then the spirit, you know, came over me and, and it was like, well, he shouldn't have listened to the old prophet. He should have listened to the Lord. And it was like a, oh shit moment, you know? So the bottom line, you know, the moral of the story, he left and eventually a lion killed him. And then the, the, pro the old prophet that lied to him had his, I believe had his son go and bury him so on and so forth but the, the moral of the story is this you need to you know follow the spirit because when you don't follow the spirit problems happen you know if you have any precepts uh elder Demashapat, anything you want to bring out Bakusha, you know feel free you know and um you have a lot of individuals out there that are pretty much doing their own will you know following their own spirit you know trusting in man and the scriptures say, woe unto him that, that maketh flesh his arm. You know, that trusted the man and maketh flesh his arm. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, you know, you could have a man of the Lord tell you something that is not, you know, that's not in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that can cause you to get fucked up. Even if, even if, I was trying to think of that scripture, even if angel. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, uh, uh, is that is that uh, Galatians one, uh, uh, where it speaks about she preaches another gospel? Mm-hmm. You know, angel. Of yeah. Another. It was that another Jesus. Oh, that that one too. That's oh. in uh, Second Corinthians eleven. You know, that one is in Second Corinthians eleven. Another Jesus. You know, because you know, pretty much. Hey, what happened to the the uh, King Saul? King Saul. Obeyed the voice of the Lord to a certain degree, but he didn't obey the voice of the Lord all the way And that what happened with that was he got put to death because of that this, uh, The, the uh, prophet Samuel told him to obey is better than sacrifice Because disobedience is as a sin of witchcraft And when you go back to the law, the sin of witchcraft is punishable by death Come uh, 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 uh. It's, uh, It should be like the third or the fourth word Second uh, Corinthians 11. Okay. Second Corinthians 11. And... You can start up above that if you want. Where, you know. uh, uh, um, I'm going to start at verse 2. First, first Corinthians 11 and 2. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband. Mm -hmm. That I might present you as a chaste virgin to Hamashiach. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right. It says, but I fear lest by any means as a serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility, so your mind should be corrupt, corrupted from the simplicity that is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Right, because at the end of the day, the path of Yahweh Shai to the truth, to salvation, is very simple, very easy. But only the elect are going to be led by it. It's not something complicated. Mm -hmm. This is how we know that the so-called Christianity is not the way, because when you get into that, there's a lot of complications that come with that. You know, but the truth, the way to the truth, the way to Yahweh Shai is very simple. 
You know, this is why I make mention sometimes to the spirit that when Yahawashai uh, gave those parables, he used everyday things that you could relate to. You know, like leaves and trees and branches and thorns and briars and things of that nature. You know, because at the end of the day, you know, to know about Yahawashai is very simple. And this is why people, you know, uh, tend to go astray because they're looking for more. Like that dude yesterday. I need more. I need more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the yeah. camp, you know? Yeah. Well, you got yeah. everything you need. But Jake always got to have extra shit. Yeah. You know, they're coming with that space wisdom. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to, you got to, um, shoot them to the moon. You right. know, you got to, you got to, me yeah. to the moon. Hey, every, everything that's written in the scriptures are not sweet, man. The scriptures, the, you know, in the scriptures, it speak about this book being a book of lamentation more than it woke. Right. You know, so everything in the scriptures is not going to be sweet to your ears, you know? Right. You have to be able to receive it. And, and you know, this walk is a, is a walk of humility, you know? Right. You know, the Lord said, my ways are not your ways and my thoughts are not your thoughts. So, you know, in order for you to receive these things, you have to have the, a spirit of humility in you to, to, to be able to cut off whatever is bumping up against the, what the word is saying, even you know? Yourself, even your own ego. Whatever, whatever yeah. You know? But uh, yeah, man, you're gonna get corrected. You're gonna, you're gonna, sometimes you're gonna feel like, you know, the chasing it is heavier on you, man. But you know, you gotta, you gotta persevere. You gotta, you know, bow down your neck and keep going forward, man. Right, you know? at the end of the day, you gotta learn to follow the spirit. You know, okay. because that's when complications happen. When something is simple and you make it complicated because you want to make it your own. Mm -hmm. You know, this is not our walk. This is not our our uh, our program. Rest, yeah. This is the program of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Kind, kind. This is verse four. It says, "For he, for if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted." You might well bear with him. Yeah, because that you know we suffer, you know certain things because for the gospel's sake. You know, like somebody might come up and you might engage them, and you know they're coming with a, you know, something totally different because they're in the world. You see that there might be a possibility to convince the gangster. So you you know you become a fisher. You know, a mm -hmm. fisher doesn't throw stones and spears and all that into the water. You know, a fisher is very calculated how sure. he, you know, fishes. Because sure, right. the, 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 the aim of the game is to, to gather as much fish as you can, you know? So, so you can't just throw boulders in there, but at the same time, if you see that there's bad fish in that pond or whatever the case may be, you gotta let that shit go, you know? And you have to follow, learn how to follow the spirit. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> bitch. Yeah. Big Shirley, you know, driving that tank. <laughs> anyway. The tank driving a tank. Yep, that tank. <laughs> so, go ahead, keep on reading. Okay, it says, For I suppose I was not a wit behind the very chiefest apostles. Right, that, that was it on that. Now, jump down uh -huh. to the, I think it's the 13th verse, 12, 13th verse, where it speaks about such a false. Because that's what they're coming with, the false mm -hmm. messiahs, you know. And then, you know, Zabak with this symbol behind, you know, he talking about them young lions was out there in the spirit of Bashem uh, Hamashiach Yahushai. Come on, bro. Come on, brother. You know, be real. I mean, unless you Judas bagged up too, you know. Because mm -hmm. you got a lot of that shit going on. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, this is verse 13. It says, for such are false apostles. Deceitful workers transforming themselves into apostles of, of Hamashiach Yahushai. Right. It says, and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Yep. You know, uh, therefore it is, uh, is it therefore it is so no, no, no great thing that, no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness whose end shall be according to their works. That's right. That's, and their end shall be according to their works. Matter of fact, you could get Galatians now. Mm -hmm. Galatians 1 and 6. You know? 
So it's important to, to follow the Spirit. You know, and there's many examples in the scriptures where men did not follow the Spirit and it ended up bad for them. You know, looking for their own fame. And what happened? They got crushed because they were looking for something the Lord wasn't giving them. Huh. You know, at the end of it, you want to say something? No, I, you know, and, and also, man, we also be, we ought to be subject to one another in love as brethren, man. You know, if brothers warn you, right. you know, you're supposed to take heed because yeah. that could very well be the spirit of the Lord, man. You know, the scriptures say, if it be not of Yahweh Shai, it shall come to naught. So if their brother ain't came to naught, if he's been consistent, then it, it could very well be the spirit of the Lord speaking, man. Yeah. You know, so the Lord will... The Lord will, before judgment, you know, uh, the Lord will give you a warning. The Lord will say, you know what? He was one of the brothers to say, you know what? Hey, you shouldn't do that, you know? But if you can't humble yourself and receive, you know what I'm saying, what the, what, the, what the Spirit is saying, then, you know, when judgment comes, don't marvel at it, you know? Just receive it, you know? Because you can't say, people can't say the Lord didn't warn them. Yeah, and there's plenty of warnings going out. What does the scripture say? He that be an orphan reprove hardness his neck, afterwards shall be destroyed, and that without remedy. Mm -hmm. As long look, judgment of uh, mercy rejoices over judgment. You know, so as long as the end hasn't come, there's still uh, room for mercy. You know, and that's that's a great thing. But the problem is, you know, you have to learn when the mercy is being extended to you, and you you you're supposed to reach out and grab it, not push it away. Yep. But a lot of you individuals, you're pushing the mercy away. Okay. And another thing, a lot of people don't know when they're being deceived because they haven't studied or shown themselves approved. They don't, they don't know the scriptures. They don't know the true breakdown. They're in this for another reason. Right. You know, so when somebody come, comes with deceptive word, they don't have nothing to reprove them by. That's right. You know? Yeah, yeah. Hey, and uh, when you go back to the history of Absalom, when Absalom pretty much got the ear of the people, Right, it said that he got, I believe, it was 200 to 250 men in their simplicity to follow him because mm -hmm. they had, they knew no better. They were simple, you know, in, in following him. That's what the scripture said: the simple believe of every word, but the prudent look as well to his going. Mm -hmm. Con, this is Galatians 1 and verse 6. It says, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you unto the grace of Hamashiach Yahawashai unto another gospel mm. which is not another but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach and that's what's happening right now you're seeing the perversion of the gospel of Yahweh Shai mm -hmm. you know you got these individuals that are in that zealot state of mind you know that are trying to bring forth their own agenda you know when when the scripture say that we're defenders of the gospel not yeah. defenders of our egos Kind of says, but though we or an angel from heaven preach another, I mean, so like preach any other gospel unto you, then that which is which ye have perceived, I mean, look, so like, that's all right, phone moving around. Then yeah, no, uh, says, then that which yeah, we have so, preached right. unto you, let him be accursed, right? So if anybody <laughs> preaches any other gospel than what we you know preach to you, let him be accursed mm -hmm. because this is very important, this is very serious. You know, this gospel, this good news is very serious. It's very detrimental to your salvation. You know, so as you received it, you're supposed to continue in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's just cool. Huh. And, and if anybody, and if anybody, you know, teaches otherwise, let them be accursed. Because okay. yeah. they'll bring a curse upon themselves. You know, but the scriptures say, you know, um, a study to show yourself approved, you know, and, you know, you know, with, 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 with much studying, you can reprove any false doctrine or any false spirit, man. Right. You know, that's why it was important. That's why, you know, the elders and apostles kept us on a tight regiment, you know, to to, to study, man, to to uh, get these breakdowns, man, because uh, we in the last days, and the scriptures speak about what, uh, there should be many uh, false, false prophets, prophets shall come into the world. Right. You know, all of these spirits that are sent out to sweep men, you know, away from their belief. Yeah. You know? And sometimes a spirit can have a, a righteous man, you know, say say something that's off and to lead others astray, and then he can also he can have mercy on that on that prophet. Yeah, he'll repent. The righteous prophet that repents and bring him back, you know, to, to his right 
state of mind and then the other ones that trusted in him they get destroyed yeah and that's why in first john 4 and 1 it says try the spirit whether they are of the most high for many false prophets are going out into the world it's kind, it's kind. <clears throat> and you and you gotta you gotta you gotta serve the lord according to you know the, the knowledge which you have learned through the holy scriptures you know you're not supposed to serve the lord by the conscience of of another man right but by your own conscience right you know by you know by by the by the portion that the lord gave you yeah you know because the scriptures speak about those that serve their own belly mm-hmm by the portion that the that the lord gave you to serve the lord man you know and you know uh, uh the bereans they searched out the, the the things whether they be true regardless of how what the stature of a man was or or how much they believe that that man was a man of the lord they still search things out right and that's the spirit man got to be in you know right. and it just because the bereans went back and searched what the apostle paul said they didn't look at the apostle paul as not being a man of the lord mm -hmm. they believe what he said but they went back to confirm it for themselves so that they could be convinced in their mind you know like when they heard it when you hear the word you know whether it's something true or, or false you know mm -hmm. but then what what makes it even better is when you go back and you search out those things and you find out that they are true for yourself that makes you you know stronger and, and stable in the truth mm -hmm. You know, and you're not if you if you're not coming into this thing to to establish your own righteousness, you know, then the Lord will work with you. But if you come in here to serve your own belly, what's going to happen is you're going to find somebody or teacher that caters to your lifestyle, and it doesn't work like that. You know, we the Lord don't got to bend to our to our lifestyle. We got to bend to the will of the Lord. He's not here to make it comfortable for us. This is a punishment. You know, so we got to follow, like the scripture said, they followed the lamb with us wherever he goes. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, man. Um, so, um, there should be some more on that. Uh, verse 9, as we said before, say, so say I now again. And, and that's that's like a reiteration, you know, when something is said uh, uh, more than once, that means, you know, really your ears are supposed to be open. You're, you're supposed to. Did you, you read the part? To, did you read the part about the angel? Con, uh, I can read it again. Uh, verse eight. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Right. You know it says. Yeah, as we because, because you know even if an angel of the Lord came down and said something different, hey, what did, didn't then uh, Michael and Satan? get into a, a, a back and forth dispute mm -hmm. and what did what did uh michael say he said the lord rebuked you you know yep. it's, uh, uh verse nine as i said before so say i now again if any man preach any other gospel unto you then that which have which ye have received let him be accursed right you know let him be accursed and that word cursed means they'll they'll be condemned mm -hmm. you know because remember Sacrifice. Anyone that doesn't accept the Shai, they become the sacrifice now. Mm -hmm. Because there's no, you know, there's no uh, offering there at the altar for them. So they will have to offer themselves. There's no remission. That's right. You know? uh, uh, it says, For do I now persuade men or the most high? Right. You know? Do I now persuade men or the most high? Yeah, do we, you know, uh, uh, what are we trying to prove? Are we trying to prove the Lord wrong or are we trying to tell men? their faults you know but what are we gonna go against the lord for what he said right it says uh hey that's why he told ezekiel be, don't be a re, don't be rebellious as this rebellious house you know mm -hmm. what i what i what you hear just you know i'm paraphrasing what you hear do do what i tell you to do you know but don't be like these wicked individuals over here Con. it says or do i seek to please men or if i yet please please men I should not be the servant of Yahweh Shai. Right. Hey, a, hey, the scriptures say that if my sheep hear my voice and they follow me, a stranger will they not hear. Yep. Woo! So you, you, can, you can go and, and follow these individuals. Today is a great big and big day, you know, for this individual to go out there, you know, and gather the truth, rally the truth, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and we're going to see what's going to happen. You know, maybe nothing might not happen, or maybe the Lord might just bring judgment just to 
you know, to to uh, shake shit up, yeah. Shake shit up, yeah, because hey, we coming to that point, man, where shit is going. You you see what's happening with these scoffers, mm -hmm. these individuals that are leaving the truth. The most I is judging them, you know. Hey, the scriptures speak about in Second Peter. It speaks about that their judgment of a long time lingereth not. Mm -hmm. Because remember, the reason why it lingers because the most High is, is long suffering. And he gives room for repentance because he understands that man is hard headed. Yeah. You know, especially you Israelites out there. But there's going to come a point where the Lord is going to bring the judgment. Yep, there was three, three, three scoffers or three people that left the truth, you know, <laughs> uh, either or, that was, that, that was put to death in and. and then in a matter of weeks, yeah, in a matter of weeks, man, you know, yeah, because you know the Lord is, is, is starting to open up, and he and it's gonna get it's gonna get even worse. You know, you're just seeing the tip of the iceberg of what's coming. Mm-hmm. It what? says, um, uh, uh, for I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it. But by the revelation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right, because you know, even now as we as we speak, you know, the doctrine that we're teaching, we were taught by men. But if the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai don't move you, you're not gonna be able to receive it. Mm -hmm. Like he told Peter that he was blessed because flesh and blood didn't reveal it to him. Now didn't Yahweh Shai choose the twelve? Didn't he break things down to them? So how did Peter know to say that that he was a Messiah? Because it was something that was given to him by Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have the spirit of the Lord, you got the spirit of the world. And if you got the spirit of the world, you're going to be destroyed. And you're not going to follow the Lamb. You're not going to listen to what the Lamb is telling you. You ain't going to hear it. You know, you're going to just keep on going down that fucked up path that you've been on and get destroyed. Kind, kind. In this, in this chapter, Paul goes, goes on to talk about how, you know, remember when I was persecuted?